Hi everyone, this is Emily Leapart from Art from the Heart. Welcome to the next Too Many Cards video. I'm so excited to introduce my next guest designer, Samantha Mann. Many of you are already huge fans of her cards, but wait until you see her video. She's been in my two cutest video hops ever with her two boys, but I'm really happy that I convinced her to make her own videos. Now there's no turning back because I've begged her for years to share how she makes her amazing cards, and now everyone will be asking her to make more videos. Heffy Doodle is our generous sponsor, and Sam and I are featuring several products, including the Super Dudes Bundle, which has adorable images with fun and unique sentiments for birthdays and encouragement cards for anyone on your mailing list, and especially card makers. I just love that little greeting card stamp. The Rescue Dogs Bundle was a gift with purchase, and I'll be using one of the dogs in my second card since they go perfectly with the Super Dudes Bundle. We're also featuring both the Cityscape and Raise the Roof stencils, which are fantastic for creating scenes and backgrounds. In my order, I threw in these extra word dies, which read My Hero, Super, and Crafty. Originally, I was going to incorporate them all in one card, but I went with different designs, so I only used two of the three. I'm going to watercolor these images, so I stamp multiples on watercolor cardstock using Versify and Onyx Black Pigment Ink. Then I heat emboss with clear embossing powder. I smoosh my Distress inks on my new Brutus Monroe Media Mat and start watercoloring. I won't be showing all of the coloring since it's quite simple and there's a lot of repetition. Once all the images have been colored, dried, and die cut, I arrange them into scenes for my cards. As you can see, there were many possibilities for scenes depending on how I grouped the images together and whether I wanted to keep it simple or add more elements to each card. To create the background for my first scene, I tape down an A2 watercolor panel, then secure the cityscape stencil on top. I'm going to use the section with the windows and sponge in some lights with two shades of yellow. Thinking ahead to how I would use the other side of the stencil to create the buildings, I knew that sponging over top of the windows would alter or cover the yellow color, so I decided to press my first smart watercolor ink pad over top of those windows and heat emboss it. That way, when I stencil the buildings, the ink slides right over the embossed windows. Next, I cut apart the building side of the stencil and use the two parts separately, one after the other. You might cringe as I'm doing this, but the solid piece is only attached by tiny little slivers, so it's easy to do and perhaps that's how it was meant to be used. I do find that this makes the stencil much more versatile, and you'll see why. Both of my scenes will be horizontal, but since I ink blend from the right hand side, I've turned my card sideways. I've taped it down with removable tape, then I add a piece of masking paper to cover the window openings that are close to my sponging area. I sponge from right to left down the buildings with two grey inks. You can find all the colours I used in the supply links below. Stenciling is so much fun, and I love seeing the shapes come to life as more ink is added. Now it's time to flip the panel since I'll be sponging upward from the solid piece that was cut off. I'm using this piece as a mask to protect the buildings I just created with ink blending. I'm going to use blues now to create a sky behind the buildings. After the sky is done, I use shimmer mist to create splatter. This adds some texture and shimmer. I simply tap on the nozzle to create the splatter. Then I use a paper towel to absorb the excess, and you can see how the shimmer wicks away the color from the sponge background. Now I'm ready to stamp my custom sentiment on the panel. I have all the other elements in their position, so I know where to stamp. I'm creating a sentiment that reads, Have a super crafty birthday. Then I'm stamping the different words one at a time since they're different stamps, and I want to be sure to line them up properly with the previous stamped word. I've die cut the crafty word from black glitter cardstock, and I love the way the crossed T seems to underline the super word so perfectly. I thought the black die cut was a bit too harsh for the scene, so I tried a gold glitter die cut that is closer to the color of the buildings, and I liked that a lot better. I used my Xyron sticker maker to attach the die cut word to the panel. 
and make sure the adhesive is flat around the edges of the die cut and remove the adhesive quickly to minimize the gumminess and secure it to the panel. Then I use foam tape to attach the super dudes to the card. I just make sure that the boy's cape is the same distance from the edge of the card as the sentiment. Then I stand the card till the girl is standing right up on the edge and centered with the sentiment before securing her to the panel. I attach the panel to the card base and now my card is done. Now on to my second card. Since the images are already colored and die cut, I can go straight to the background. This time I'm using the raise the roof stencil and sponging a sunset type of background across the entire card. I use three yellows and a pink to create this background. At the end, I go over all the rays with a lightest shade of yellow to blend it all together nicely. Then I use the shimmer mist on the rays, using the same process as the sky on the first card. To create the custom sentiment on the second card, I do a mock-up for the sentiment so I can get the placement just right before stamping. I stamp and trim the sentiment that reads, Hope your day is as super as you are. Only I'm replacing the stamped super with the die cut super this time in black glitter cardstock. I wrestled with whether or not to cut the stamp apart since it would have been so much easier, but in the end I decided not to, opting for masking and multiple stamping. I secure the super die to the panel before stamping so I know exactly where to stamp around the letter P. When I started applying foam tape to the back of this super dude, I noticed that his arm is also die cut, which is really cute. He could carry anything, so I decided to tuck a second ball under his arm. Originally, I was going to have the throwing ball in the boy's hand, but then I thought it looked cuter already thrown towards the dog who's flying to get it. I was going to leave the card this way, but decided that I needed to balance the images by filling the empty space under the dog, so I stamped three of the outline stars directly on the panel. Then I used a Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen to add some shimmer to the stars. And now my second card is done. Be sure to leave a comment here and on Sam's YouTube channel for your chance to win a £25 gift certificate to the Happy Doodle store. Comments will close on June 22, 2019, and the winner will be announced before our next Too Many Cards videos go live. Please check back to see if you've won. Thanks so much for watching!